Good morning. Welcome to our service of worship today on this fifth Sunday of Lent. We are uh, moving through the season of Lent and coming upon uh, Holy Week. Uh, next Sunday begins Holy Week. But here we are today gathered and I'm thankful to see all of you here. We're going to begin our, our gathering here with the words of the land acknowledgement here on the screen that we speak together. Honoring the process of truth and reconciliation and seeking to be a church that does recognize the pressing need for the ministry of reconciliation. We name that cross in the United Church is located on the traditional and unceded territory of the Coast Salish Indigenous Peoples and the treaty territory of the Tawasan First Nation. The United Church of Canada acknowledges the territory's significance for the Indigenous peoples who live and continue to live in this territory. Well, as we come together, Today there are a few things to just be attentive to and uh, it's going to be a full day for me so I'm going to ask for your prayers throughout today because we, after this service is finished uh, we'll give you about a, a 10 minute break for those that might need to move on to other things uh, in your day but all that can stay we're asking you to stay for our annual general meeting which will start right about uh, 10 minutes after we finish the service. I'm thinking that's right around uh, 11, 10, 11, 15. And uh, I anticipate, hope, and trust that might be about an hour meeting at the longest. So we're not going to be here all day. But uh, then you can continue to pray for me because at uh, 2.30 I will have a service at Mountain View uh, with the residents there. And then at 4 o'clock, we're back here for the Jazz Vesper service again. Uh, so you've got a full day as well, and we look forward to uh, being spending time with each other. The one thing in the middle of all those things is that today we will not have coffee and sweets following the service because we're moving right into our ATM. So keep all those things in mind. If you haven't already handed these small cards around to some neighbors or friends, maybe this afternoon you could, that's the invitation to the Jazz Vesper service. <clears throat> On Friday, you received a, our email that is sent out outlining some of the other things that are happening. On the 8th of April, the Saturday, that's on the weekend of uh, Easter, between Good Friday and Easter Sunday. The Saturday from 9.30 to noon, there will be a garage sale in our church, in the hall of our church, open for anybody in, in the neighborhood, in, in the city to come and, and buy up all the things that we no longer have usefulness for, but are still useful for other purposes. So we want to spread that word as well and let everybody know about that. You'll notice, uh, if you haven't been here, uh, there's a few s small changes. We're getting all of the renovation pieces pulled back together. Not quite complete, but we're getting so close and it looked great. There's also a, a bookshelf right by the coke racks out there that's a, a lending library. Uh, for books and uh, videos and puzzles. And so if you are interested in uh, taking a book, uh, bring another one to replace it. Don't bring a whole bunch of other books to add into the shelf. We're just doing a trade, one for one, and, uh, and hopefully that will be a way of encouraging you to continue to do some uh, reading with some new material, but also bringing something that might be of interest for others to read as well. So all of these things are happening around us and in our, in our church here. This afternoon at our Jazz Vespers, Ron and his quartet of friends, musicians, uh, featuring Alan Matheson will be here to lead the music and uh, really give us a, a joyful time together. 
And I've been asked, I'm going to name here today, at this point, but we'll take these names into, into our prayer as well later in this service. Uh, Margaret Shuffle is uh, one of the wonderful, faithful, pastoral care attention people, uh, sending cards and uh, letters and, and greetings to other people that we're praying for and keeping us informed about who uh, might be needing prayers for specific purposes. And so we are praying uh, for Elizabeth Mulholland. She lives in Edmonton, but she's struggling with cancer. And this is a, a very vital thing for, for Margaret to be praying for her and asking us to pray uh, with her for Elizabeth as well. We're mindful of Mary Richardson, a member of our church that is uh, in process of uh, a change in her new settings of, of residence and just her continuing struggle with her sight. We're also mindful today of um, Diane Corkum, who is going to have a, a, a day surgery cataracts and so just all of these things uh, we hope and trust and pray that they will be very um, easy and, and quick surgeries but we all know that things could happen and so we just pray that the surgeon's hand will be steady and, and all things will go very well. And so we just uh, hold these people in our prayers uh, later on in our service as if there are others that you want us to continue to be praying for, there's a card just in the pew in front of you. Please fill that out and you can drop it in the offering uh, plate there if you wish or just uh, hand it to me afterwards or bring it to the office through the week. These are things that we want to be aware of and care for each other. I think that's enough announcements. And so let us enter into our service of worship with the, the prelude. Ron is going to prepare us with this music. We light the Christ candle. 
recognizing the presence of God among us, the light of Christ, the fire of the Holy Spirit burning within us. And with this candle lit and us gathered together, let us join in our call to worship. More than those who watch for the morning, with our questions and our cries, in our hopes and expectations. Come, let us worship the Lord our God together. And we do lift our voices in praise in our first hymn, Morning Has Broken.
seated, we turn to our morning prayers of adoration and confession. Let us pray. God, in whom we live and move and have our being, we praise you. In the face of all that wearies us and worries us, your word echoes across the centuries with hope. As we follow the footsteps of Jesus in this Lenten season, his cross standing before us, we trust you are never far from our sorrows, walking with us, sharing in our tears. You stand beside us when we don't know which way to turn. In this time of worship, renew our trust in your resurrection promises. Draw us near when we need you the most with love that will never let us go. And so often we offer you our wonder and our praise in the name of Jesus, who is the resurrection 